Hello everybody and welcome to a somewhat cloudy Portugal. I'm on the island of Armona near the town of Olio, not far from Faro Airport. I'm going over to Olio to see if I can get, finish all the streets in Olio for City Strides. I've only got about another 13 to go. And a little thing here, a street named after the, the wife. <laughs> So this is the only main sort of path through Armona, like a concrete path through that way, but it goes to the Atlantic beach. And this way of going forward is to the ferry. So running on the Armona, it's not too bad, but you have to basically go up and down this path, which is about a mile. So after a while, you do get a bit bored of that. And if it's busy, it's not much of a great run. So I often head over to Olio to uh, do a proper run as it were. So the ferry is 185 each way, so 370 for return. Euros, of course, not pounds. <laughs> that battle has long since lost. <laughs> Very narrow streets in Olio, like cobbled streets and stuff like that. So, about a mile and a half in, we've arrived at a little school track here, painted onto the grounds, and I think it's about a 200 meter one. Can't really get in, it's all locked obviously, but it looks like it's three lanes all around with the four lanes straight, so better than nothing, I suppose. Might get a bit giddy though running around there well, too often. Right, on to the next street. It's actually slightly raining at the moment, just could feel a few little raindrops, but uh, it's quite warm, about 22 I'd say. And if I have to bring my bike with me again. So here we are at Olio train station, the train just pulled in, that's going to Villa Santa, uh, Villa Santa Antonio or something like that, it's on the Portugal-Spain border. You can't actually get from Portugal to Spain that way by the train, but you can get there and then you can get a boat or something like that. I did cycle once to the border, it's about 30-35 miles and I got the train back, so it's quite a nice little ride. On a few trips I've hired a bike here, but I haven't done it for a few years. Anyway, it's on to the next street. I didn't feel that, but it caused a bit of a good push in there. We're going up a couple of dead ends, but uh, entertaining the uh, entertaining the locals anyway, and the dogs. <laughs> right, where am I going now? Back to the last 
back down towards the beachfront to collect the last lot of streets I think hopefully. Ah so back on the main road next to the water so this is all the streets around here I've got to do like a maze of little ones so I think I might have to revert to my other watch and just colour them all in. <laughs> behind us to good ice cream, might be one for later. <laughs> Please report that I did actually manage to complete the 13 streets I needed to complete the whole of Olio. So it's my second city that I've completed. I've completed my own city of Elmbridge. I say city, but that's like the geographical term on open street map I think that they use. Only 190 streets in Olio compared to about 1300 in Elmbridge. So slightly easier, but uh, obviously got to travel to Portugal to do it. I'm the first person to have completed Olio. Well, there's only 15 people that have actually been trying as it were. Anyway, so I can probably stop the sort of random runs around Olio and uh, get a bit of marathon training in. I'm still sort of uh, humming and hawing over that one really. Um, obviously these miles are helping but um, I really don't think I'm going to be able to run much quicker than about 3.15 but that is the good for age time though for M50. So in a way that's sort of some sort of incentive although the, the only advantage is you get to do the same thing again next year. I'm never really sure that I'm particularly keen on auto marathons because you've got to train for for the summer for one. Really, if I was doing myself justice, I was looking for a sub three, but even then it would be my worst time ever because my last one was at 2.56 and I can't see that I've got any way of beating that. I was in full marathon training a year and a half younger and really up for that and uh, trained about six months previously for it and executed quite a good race. So in that sense, I think it's a bit like coming into a sort of 815 one after another and hoping you can suddenly run about 4.40, having run about 4.56 all season. And similarly in the 800s. Anyway, we can only dream on. That's the trouble with running, you always think you're better than you are, and there's one day you suddenly come out and run at some amazing time. Anyway, so uh, good to get Olio done, and hope you enjoyed a little tour around Olio. I'm gonna head off now towards the boat. I can see the people getting off the boat. I've got about six minutes before it heads off. It goes off at 7.40 in the evening. And it's actually warmed up a bit now. It was a bit drizzly earlier on, but uh, I feel quite warm now. Let's just turn round and there's the boat there. You can hopefully see some little people just uh, wandering off it. Oh, and by the way, I was wearing the Endorphin Speeds 1 and the New York Colourway Edition today. These ones. I've actually brought the Endorphin Speed 2 out with me, so maybe we'll do a video comparing them. So I'm still sort of trying to work out if I can tell any difference. I've been sort of wearing them alternate days. I've got both now to well over 100 miles, but the Endorphin Speed 2 have just got to 150, and I think these will be about 120 now. So they gave them a good test. The wear pattern should be pretty similar, so that'll probably be my next video, I think. So I look forward to seeing on that one or another one if I have a change of mind. And I uh, hope you find this interesting, and look forward to seeing us all then. Bye.